I have something to raise our spirits back up here. Uh, I have some kind cool. words sent in from Saving Able guitarist Scott Bartlett. So Scott says, there's simply no denying his prowess on the skins, from technique to feel to independence, tempo, meter, all of it. My favorite part of playing slash touring with Dave was watching him grow as a man. I never had to worry about his show or his abilities. I got to watch him learn the ropes of being in a national touring rock band and develop as a man in that environment. He ended up being one of my favorite people ever. I really miss touring with him and sharing the stage with him. So that's from Scott. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, Scott was a, was a big help. Like Scott got to watch from a distance, you know, and he'd always like, casually kind of like nudge me you know so um sorry that is like <laughs> gotta give me like a second this is a lot to unload got you in the feels that's okay you mentioned at the start of this interview that sometimes it's hard to accept compliments it's uh basically <laughs> you know some people go days weeks months years without ever hearing kind words so it, it can be overwhelming sometimes right totally yeah and that's another thing man like check on people you know call them sometimes check on them because you don't know who's like suffering you know um i still try to do that as much as i can um my friends mean a lot to me so uh yeah but all of those guys you know and they all like, you know, Scott, all of those dudes, like they, they had a, a way of like teaching me without telling me like they would, sometimes it would just be just as simple as like a giggle. Like they would, I would say something they would be like, Oh really now, you know? And you're like, ah, read the room. That probably means I shouldn't do that. Or I probably shouldn't say that. I do not to this day. Like I didn't understand meet and greets what are, why are we doing this? You know, like, <laughs> and, uh, they taught me like, it's all right, dude, like come over here and shake their hand. They like your band. It's okay. You know, they don't view music like you view music. I will say I learned a lot from those guys. So I appreciate that Bartlett. So they found a way to, to help you without reaching just to kind of organically guide you in the right direction. Yep. And um, golly, I learned so much too, just by that, because they're like, they told me when I first got on the bus, it's really funny. They said, um, anything that you're about to do or you've done here, if you think that's a mistake, we've done it like 10 times worse. So there ain't nothing that you're going to do that's going to scare us. <laughs> Cause you know, by the time I got on the bus, they were, those partying days were over, you know, like they were dads and, you know, they were just slowing down on some things, you know, they were all cool, you know? So they were just watching me sometimes. Some of the guys said it was comedic relief because things that I'd be concerned with, they were like, what, why is that even a problem? <laughs> like, cause I was so like, it has to be perfect. It has to be right. This super OCD about things. <laughs> <laughs> so it made me chill out a good bit, you know, even in my daily life, like when I would go back out and in Nashville, I'd be around people like it was, it helped me like feel more comfortable some, in some settings, you know, 